friends, good morning. Welcome to day one of Disney Vlogs. So today is the day we are getting on the Disney cruise ship in just a few hours. So here I am in my hotel room. I'm just getting packed up. I'm dressed for the day. I'm wearing my Mickey shirt um, and just jeans because it's actually like pretty cool out, but whatever, we're in Florida. I'm not gonna complain. So here I am in our hotel room just getting the last things packed. I have to take Zenith out to the bathroom. Here is the good boy this morning if you wanna see. Say hi. Pro tip, hi Zenith. Pro tip, if you're staying at a hotel, towels make great dog beds in a pinch. Um, but yeah, I'm just packing up my stuff. Oh, here you can see this is Zenith's outfit for the day. He's gonna wear his traveling bandana and of course his harness and there's my sweatshirt. Um, but yeah, he's just hanging out and then we're gonna go get on the shuttle and go to our Disney cruise! Yeah! Zia, are you excited? Are you so excited? Let's go on a cruise! Let's go! Good boy! Zia, forward. Good boy! Here, bud, hop right, let's go! Good boy! Here, hop right, bud. Let's go. Here, hop How right. old is it? Good boy. Good boy. Good job. That's Okay. Oh, I think he told me 42. No, it's all 41. Oh, okay. There's even a bus that's not Alright, awesome. Thank you. Here, come on. Come on. Zenith, forward. Good boy. Yes, forward. Come on. Good job. He knows what he's doing. He's so good. Good boy. Good job, bud. Alright, we finally found the service animal relief area. So it has, looks like a little grass and bags, trash can. So here it is, it's on deck four forward, so in the front of the ship. 
Okay, we just made it to our stateroom. It's our first time staying, well, it's my first cruise with a dog, and it's also my first cruise staying in a little bit of a bigger room. So because of my dog, we decided that we would get like just a slightly bigger room. So I figured I'd show you around. This is, um, I don't know what it's called. It's a room with a veranda, which is what we typically get, but we usually got the smallest size room with a veranda. This is like the one size bigger room with a veranda. Um, but it's not one of the like fancy rooms. It's just like a normal room with, I think it has five extra feet that are normal. But anyway, let me show you around. So I guess I'll start at the door when you walk in. It might be too dark in this area for it to really see, but anyway, when you walk in the door, there are closets on the left and the bathroom on the right. Um, it is the double bathroom, so we have the toilet on this side and the shower on this side. One thing, oh, and me, hi! Um, one thing I wasn't really expecting was that this shower is circular, so I'm not sure how well Zenith will fit in here, but my parents' room has just a normal shower, so I might give him a shower in their room, or I might just try to fit him in here. It's just a little small, but there is a shower seat, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll just see what happens with that, but here is the bathroom. <laughs> And then coming into the room, we have hooks on the wall, which are nice for like um, his harness and leash, and I have a jacket on a hook. And then my bed. This is my first cruise ever having a real bed, which I'm very grateful for. So thank you, mom and dad. Um, and then we got a backpack, just because, I don't know, they always give you a backpack on a cruise. There's my stuff over there. And then here, this is my favorite part about the room. There's just so much empty space here which is really nice for Zenith to be able to kind of run around and play a little bit. Obviously in a you know quiet, controlled way, but at least he can have a little bit of space to just be a dog because one thing that's different about a cruise, here he is. He's hiding a little bit, I guess. Oh, you tired? <laughs> one thing that's different about a cruise is that he's pretty much working all the time, which is not something he's used to. And I mean, it's not, I don't know, it's not good for him to just have to work all day. So it's good that we can come back here for some breaks where he can chew a bone or, you know, play with a toy or whatever and have some more room to do that. Good boy. Then we have our couch. We bought water for the room. Oh, wait, there's another mirror. You can see me. Hi again. Um, but we bought water for the room for Zenith. This is going to sound crazy, but he drinks bottled water because... <laughs> If I don't give him really good water, it tends to make him sick. So he's getting nice bottled water. And then next we have our veranda, which is so good for having a service dog because the veranda came with grass. And I thought this was gonna be fake grass, but it's actually real, which is so nice. Wait, I need to grab my sunglasses and then I can show you. Okay. Sunglasses on, let's go. So I still can't really see out here, so you'll just have to, I don't know, see for me and hopefully I'm doing a decent job of showing you stuff. But um, this is our veranda. We haven't left yet, so you know, it's not a great view yet. But it's nice that there is a spot for him to go to the bathroom right here, which is just nice so we don't always have to go to the spot on deck four that we just found. And yeah, I think it's real grass, so he should enjoy that. But yeah, there's our view will be much different in uh, a few days when we're at sea, but closing the door. All right, you can look out the window if you'd like. I can leave it open. Zenith loves windows. Well, I think all dogs do. Here, Scooch, let me, let me come in, then you can see. Do you like the window? Yeah. You know, it's pretty fun. So yeah, that's what we've done so far today. We're just kind of hanging out a little bit now, giving Zena some off time and me some time to recoup. And then I'm not actually sure what we're doing next. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, but we have dinner at Animator's Palace tonight, one of the restaurants on the ship. And afterwards, we're gonna see the Golden Mickey's show. I always love seeing the Broadway style shows. Um, I love music, I love musicals, so it's just a fun thing to do. Um, otherwise, I don't, this is getting heavy and bright. 
but otherwise in terms of like service dog stuff our day has gone really smoothly so i don't know how much i told you so i'll just fill you in now because i have a second but this morning at 8 30 as soon as the office opened we called disney special services which is like their disability help like section that handles all that sort of stuff and made sure and they said that yes all of his paperwork was in and it was good so we were cleared to go and get on the ship and then once we got to the port and checked in sorry this camera's really heavy i might have to put it down i have like joint problems but anyway um once we checked in at the port they told us to go to a different like desk where the supervisor was and we met with them and they had someone escort us onto the boat which was super cool they like cut us in front of the line i have no idea why they did this um but they did which was nice um and then they told us to go right to guest services to get his boarding pass that's what they called it i don't know so we went and talked to them and Basically, we just gave them the paperwork that our vet signed from the Bahamas, and they told us we were good to go. So that was really simple. Then we just went right to lunch, and I mean, you've seen what's happened since then. Um, Zenith had a lot of fun meeting Pluto, so that was good. I wasn't sure how he'd react. That was his first time seeing a character, so I was glad that he enjoyed it. Um, in terms of people, I would say I'm really glad that I got the cape, which if you've seen my um, Christmas, like what we got for Christmas video, I showed you the new cape from Patience and Love that we got and it's so nice. Sorry, I'm like squinting. I'm trying to be in front of the window for the lighting for you guys, but it's really hurting my eyes, so I'm just, I'm sorry, but I'm trying my best. So that's been really helpful because a lot of parents have seen it and, you know, told their kids not to pet him. So, so far I've had nobody even try to pet him as some kids, but their parents you know stopped them before they could so i really haven't had any issues so far everyone's been super friendly um a couple of people have asked for his name and i just say his name's oscar because then they can't use it to distract him um one person asked to pet him and i said no and that was really it like i've only had one person so far ask to pet him so i'd say that's pretty good um compared to usually especially since we have so many people in a small space i really thought it would be worse but I mean, realistically, every single time a kid sees us, they say, oh, look, there's a dog. Um, but I mean, that's to be expected. I can't say I necessarily love it, but also like, A, they're kids and they don't know better, and B, that's just gonna happen. Like, you know, it's, I walk around with a dog. So yeah, people are gonna notice that I'm walking around with a dog and kids will say things and it's fine. Like no one's been mean. They're just like, oh, look, a dog. And I mean, yeah, it gets old to hear that every five seconds, but like, uh, I don't care. It just is what it is and like as long as they're not distracting him, it's fine. Um, what else has happened? One lady was like really rude and annoying and she was like, oh a dog and like making weird noises and she had like two different video cameras out that she was videotaping him with. I should have just asked her to stop because it was so rude and like it's not okay to just walk up to a stranger and take a video of them, but I don't know. I just like got away from her and walked the opposite way and ignored her because I'm not good at confrontation and yeah. But other than that, it's been great. I would say, yeah, his cape, I don't know if you can see it. It is up here, I can show you. It just says, service dog, do not distract. And then the three pictures, it says that on both sides. In the middle, it has a stop sign and it says working, keep back, but you can't really see the middle because this blocks it kind of, but it's really visible, easy to see, you know. It's helping. It's definitely helping. I was afraid that, I don't know, I would get it and it was expensive, you know, pay all that money for it and it wouldn't actually help, but it definitely is. So I'm really happy about that. Again, thank you parents for getting that for me. Um, I really appreciate it. It was a fantastic Christmas gift. Um, yeah, now we're just hanging out for a little bit. We have like the, the safety drill around four and then after that is the sail away party and then dinner. Someone's enjoying his window. All right, so some time has passed. Um, we just got back from our safety drill. That went really well. It was hot and bright and yeah, but you know, it's a safety drill. I was just so proud of Zenith though because he, like there was a really loud alarm that went off for the drill and he just literally laid there like nothing happened. And I thought that was awesome. Um, I can show you, let's see, I had earmuffs here. These mat moths that he wore, um, which I took off after the siren, and he did fine wearing them because I've been working on that with him. So he wore them, but he also was just perfect. Like he didn't even lift his head. 
So I was proud of him for that. Um, our luggage got here, so I unpacked. You can see his crates over there, his bowls, some other stuff's around our room. So we're all here unpacked. Suitcases are under our bed. Um, and so yeah, we're all settled in. Now it's just time to go. So in 10 minutes, there's a sail away party up on deck 11 that we're gonna go to and then we'll be off. As you can tell, I'm just kind of tired from that drill, but our vacation's finally starting. So that's awesome and it'll be fun to go start moving. See what Xena thinks when the boat starts moving. He probably won't even notice, but it'll be fun. <laughs> back from dinner it actually ended up taking a really long time but it was really good um we had this like brownie for dessert that was super awesome but anyway dinner was great so now zenith is eating his dinner you can see this is his little corner of our room he has his crate and then over here his dinner hi good boy um so he's gonna eat then i'm gonna take him out and then we're gonna go take pictures and see a show here you're gonna see this is my fun little animal I got in my room tonight. Every night when they um, like get your room ready for bed, they give you a fun little towel animal and this guy is adorable. Although I don't know what kind of animal he is, so I'll have to ask my mom or something because I don't know a lot about animals, despite the fact that I have a dog. Zenith was perfect tonight. He's been very good. This is a silly dog after a long day. We just got back from getting some pictures with characters. Zenith got to meet Mickey and Minnie and he loved them. I'm actually really surprised at how well he's doing um, meeting characters. He like seriously loves them so much. He doesn't seem to notice they're not just normal people. He's having a total blast. I'm so happy for him. Um, so we've had an amazing night, but I'm really tired. So I'm gonna get pajamas on, get ready for bed. Um, I don't think I showed you my outfit so I can show you not that I'm like that fashionable or like whatever but you might as well see so I'm just wearing this dress ah this like thing is in the way but can you see me at all I'm not good at this I'm not Ugh. okay we're trying so this is my dress it's from Abercrombie and it's an extra long those are the only dresses I wear because I'm super tall and any other dress is just too short on me. So, that's what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put pajamas on and get ready for bed. But we had a lot of fun. I can show you, here, I'll show you the picture I got when we were meeting Mickey, which it's adorable. It's not all the way developed yet, but here. By the way, I love Polaroids. If you didn't know that, I have an Instagram of Polaroids, but yeah, he was giving a paw and he was so adorable. Actually, it looks like a high five. But yeah, he just absolutely loved the characters. All right, guys, we are in our pajamas. Well, I'm in my pajamas. This guy doesn't wear pajamas. I still have to take off his collar, but um, we're ready for bed. So I'm just gonna say good night. This man is super tired. I am super tired, but we had a great first day. Um, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we're going to be going to Castaway Key, which is Disney's private island in the Bahamas. It's so nice. I love beaches and I'm very excited. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to that tomorrow. But that was all for tonight. So, good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Venus. Good night.